a lot of people get married here or they don't get married in the park, they come and have their photographs taken. This park was laid out, at least the first northern section of 10 acres, laid out in 1851. A little later they added 20 acres on the south side for, to be used primarily as a marching ground and training ground for military troops. Both uh, Union and Confederate troops have marched and trained here, not at the same time, however. This park is the main green space in Savannah. It is 30 acres in diameter. There's got multiple trees, you see them, I don't have to tell you. There's a fragrant garden in there for the blind. This is a very popular hangout. Uh, a lot of people come and play uh, rugby. The Savannah rugby team has a tournament in the park during St. Patrick's celebration. So at a jazz festival performs here when they're in town and performing. On the left, that fountain was purchased out of a mail order catalog, ladies and gentlemen, from New York City in 1854. When they got it, it was orange, blue, and purple. It took the good people of Savannah about 85 years to realize it was ugly. <laughs> So in 1935, somebody had a really good idea to make this all in white. It's been that way ever since. The fountain has also been destroyed a few times. Memorable day of their lives, the second most memorable day of their lives, when they come down here to South End and get divorced. <laughs> yeah. We like convenience in Savannah. We don't like putting people out too far. Now they had a farmer's market here earlier today. They have it every Saturday. This is the hiker. He was a Spanish-American war monument. Savannah actually sent more troops to Cuba during the Spanish-American war than any other city in the state. One of my favorite buildings. Right here, the former home of the Mary Telfair Hospital for Women. Old Magic Mike was born there. Yeah. No, it's an old hospital. It's not even a hospital anymore. It's uh, an apartment complex. Let me tell you about it. Well, when I came out, the nurse slapped me on the rear end and said, uh, what a magic little baby. And I just turned at her and said, you only knew only hundreds. Look at all these ceiling to floor windows here and all these homes. They are, every one of them has it. Well, the reason they're there is because the more doors you had in your home, the more taxes you paid. Isn't that crazy? So they put these windows in all these houses to get around it. Now, this is the birthplace and childhood home of Johnny Mercer. I just played Moon River for you. There's an orange tree out front, and only one in the historic district. Johnny Mercer wrote over 1,500 songs, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot. He was nominated for 19 Academy Awards, and he won four times. That's the Candler Oak. It's estimated to be 300 years old. These Spanish balls here that's hanging down from these trees is not a, like I said, not a parasite, not a fungus. It's an airborne plant, and I used to not like it, I'll be honest with you. Oh, it was ugly. But, uh, it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Let me repeat that a little slower so y'all can catch it. And on the right is the cathedral of St. John the Baptist. A Gothic cathedral. Completed here on this section, this building in 1891. It is now been designated a basilica or a minor basilica by Pope Francis. They are open. You walk in. The inside and the outside of the church has been remodeled and not remodeled but refurbished, particularly the inside and outside. In the last 25 years, it's beautiful in there. Doors wide open. 
Go take some photographs inside. That cost you a dime. Stop number six, the cathedral. Please. Monument in Savannah. And, and, and 
spirits haunt the streets of Savannah. Hear the stories no other tours dare to tell on the ghosts and gravestones crawling from the city's mysterious history to its gravest moments. Gasp and folk when the conductor howls all aboard. You answer the call. Now, if anybody's taking a ghost tour tonight, it does start right down here at Stop 10. Want to come down here about 15 minutes before your ghost tour starts and uh, board your trolley. Stop number 10. There's a lot of restaurants here. Those of you who haven't been down here yet, a lot of shops. A lot of good places to eat. <coughs> that uh, monument back there was for Florence. She was a waiting girl, y'all. Years, this lady waited in ships coming in and out and going out of port for 12 years. And, uh, not when I say 12, I meant 44 years, excuse me. 44 years. Now, if you do something like that for 44 years, People are going to start talking about you. And they talk about her. And you know how people are. They start rumors that are the truth. And uh, they said she was waiting for a long, long lover to return. I can't sugarcoat that and tell you everything was 